Hello everyone, today we're gonna talk about yet another BIOS version. It's the new one, 3.0. It's the uh, Agisa 1.006A update for the ASRock AB350M Pro 4 motherboard. I already flashed the BIOS to 3.0 and um, if you want to see more about how to do that you can watch that video in the link up there. What we're going to do today is a little different. I'm not going to go through all the steps explaining how to do the flashing and messing around with the RAM speeds and overclocking the CPU and what works and what doesn't work. We're of course going to go through those but just a lot faster. I don't want to sit here and go you know do the same video again. Uh, we did that with the 2.5 update and um, like I said the video is up there the link for it go ahead and watch that now today what I want to show you guys is a little different as you may have seen my video where with the BIOS version 2.4 I am able to get 4 gigahertz on the CPU which is a Ryzen 6 uh, Ryzen 5 1600 and on the RAM I'm able to get 3200 megahertz with those settings I'm able to run Cinebench and I'm able to stress the CPU with the CPU Z and it plays most games fine, no problems. But it's most games. What it does is sometimes on certain games, after about an hour, hour and a half, it'll just, the game will just crash. It won't crash the computer, but it, the game will just stop responding. So I started digging a little deeper and uh, downloaded OCCT. It's a stressing software. It stresses your whole system, not just your CPU. At the end of the video, you're going to see some benchmarks with a couple of games. One of them is the Deus Ex Mankind, and the other one is the uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. What we're going to do is I'm going to compare BIOS 2.4, 4 GHz on the CPU and 3200 megahertz on the RAM. And I can run those benchmarks fine, like I said. And we're going to flash the BIOS to 3.0, find a stable overclock for the RAM and the CPU. Then we're going to go into those same games, benchmark them, and compare the results of BIOS 2.4 versus 3.0. And at the end, you're going to be uh, probably surprised because I'm switching to 3.0 for stability. So here in the background, my five pass in the bench stress test is going, testing the uh, BIOS version 3.0. And I believe right now the RAM we have set at 3066. At the very beginning of the video, you saw that we already crashed trying to load in with 3200 megahertz on the RAM, and that didn't work out. So with the Cinebench, what it is, at least it lets us know that we can go ahead further. For example, right now with the 3066 megahertz on the RAM, it seems to be doing okay. So what we're going to do is, after the Cinebench runs, we're going to start overclocking the CPU. The AMD Ryzen software is not reporting the RAM speeds correctly. Our RAM right now is set at 3066 and it's reporting it as 3200 megahertz. So disregard the AMD Ryzen software. Just look at the hardware info 64 for that information, actually for any information right now. After a bunch of testing, I'm going to settle with 3066 megahertz on the RAM and 3.925 gigahertz on the CPU. And we're going to go ahead and stress test that with OCCT. And I know it's going to pass. I've been doing these tests for a couple of days and it's stable at those speeds. Let's talk about OCCT a little bit. I downloaded IDA64 and did some stressing with that one also. But I found OCCT much more revealing and it's much faster at finding stability issues. It's a great program. It's free and you can download it. You can just do a search on Google for OCCT. The way I'm using it is the CPU Linpack with the RAM set at 50% capacity. And I'm doing the test for 30 minutes. Out of those 30 minutes, we're actually stressing for 25 minutes. And the last five minutes is just a cool down period. Most of what you're seeing on the screen is sped up. <laughs> I don't know if it's obvious or not. I just got to let everybody know it is sped up. Right now we're testing 3.9 gigahertz on the CPU with the 3066 on the RAM. And we're going to go back into the BIOS and test 3950 gigahertz on the CPU with 3066 on the RAM. A couple of interesting things going on with this new BIOS though. When I put 
the CPU frequency to 3950, it's actually only overclocking it to 3925, even less than that because of the B clock is actually at 99.8 instead of exactly at 100. So when I put it to 3950 in the BIOS, what we actually see on the screen is roughly 3925 megahertz on the CPU. So keep that in mind. So I'm just going to refer to that as 3925. The word stability, stable system, is a very elastic word because you can do a lot of stuff without even knowing if you're, I mean, if it doesn't crash on you, it's stable for you, right? So it's, you know, what's the point of stressing with Prime 95 or this if you're never going to push your computer that hard? Having said that, when you do have problems, that's when you need these OCCT or Prime 95 or IDA 64 to see where you're having problems. Is it software? Is it hardware? If your RAM, your CPU is stable and can pass these stress tests with OCCT, for example, then you can look at on the software level instead of hardware level. But if it's not passing it, then you got to look at your overclocks. So we're stable at 3925 megahertz on the CPU and 3066 megahertz on the RAM in BIOS revision 3.0. We're good there. I went ahead and tested some more different settings, but it didn't work. So this is where we're going to stop. What I'm going to do now is go back and flash the BIOS to 2.4. CPU is going to be set at 4 gigahertz and the RAM is going to be set at 32 megahertz. And we're going to go ahead and do some tests with that also. And then we're going to benchmark it. As usual, after every tinkering we do in the BIOS, I'm going to go into Windows and open up Hardware Info just to show you guys that it is loaded up at the said settings. For example, here we see we're at 4 gigahertz on the CPU and 3200 megahertz on the RAM. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that I, I am capable of running Cinebench test and then we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the gaming benchmarks first we'll be benchmarking the ghost recon wildlands we're uh, benchmarking at 1080p very high settings graphics card is an msi armor gtx 1070 uh, it's slightly overclocked with the afterburner and what you see on the upper left corner is the uh, riva tuner statistics server which comes with the afterburner this is the new beta version that's why it has the background and all that different stuff you can do with it now we're in bios revision 2.4 cpu is at 4 gigahertz ram is at 3200 megahertz and as you can see here are the results average fps of 8221 next we're going to go ahead and benchmark deus ex mankind divided After these two benchmarks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to OCCT and show you guys why I'm switching to BIOS revision 3.0. If we wait here for a second, here comes OCCT and I'm going to go ahead and run the stress test lint pack on this BIOS revision 2.4 and it crashed 21 seconds. That's all it took in OCCT. Now we are ready to go ahead and benchmark these games with the BIOS revision 3.0, CPU 3.925 GHz, RAM 3066 MHz. Let's go.
conclusion time, so I'm gonna put up this chart that sums it all up. As you can see, there is no difference between using the settings in BIOS 2.4 versus BIOS version 3.0. I'm guessing it's because the BIOS 3.0, it actually tightened up some of the RAM timings and it's giving a better performance at slower RAM speeds. I wish it would load up in 3200 MHz, but we're getting there, I think. It's definitely an improvement over the BIOS revision 2.5. And the reason I'm switching to BIOS Revision 3.0 is my settings that give the same performance in BIOS Revision 2.4 aren't really super stable. I'm gonna leave this chart up for you guys to soak it all in and make a decision yourself. Have a good one.